Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some Dragalia Lost. I completely butchered the name of this game I play every day, Dragalia Lost. Anyway, uh, man, the 1.5 year anniversary celebration countdown has begun. It is still a week away, so... Today's video was gonna be about Omega... It's gonna be me fighting the Omega Flex. So, of course, if you want to keep seeing me do Dragalia stuff and you like seeing me do Dragalia stuff, actually, it doesn't matter. Bones. Anyway, the point is, please leave a like if you end up liking this video. It helps me a whole... It helps my channel a whole lot. It helps motivate me. It does a whole bunch of things. I'm going to go in and I'm going to fight the Omega Flex. Um, Volfair? Which is... This is why I call him Omega Flex is because I can't... Not Omega Flex. This is the reason I call him Flex is because he flexes in the beginning. But also, I, I can't pronounce his name ever. Uh, let's see. This should be, in theory, possible for me to beat. This is my first time going in. I'm going in blind. Um, Volfair is one of those weird bosses where, um, I have a video that I never released of me just completely losing to him because I just didn't know how to actually Whoa, fight him. Oh, what? Brave, okay, fine. <gasps> Run! I know that much. Pretty sure I'm going to aim for the arms, and I'm going to try and keep my combo up because I am losing, using Lin Yu. Save the day. Perfect. Oh wait, everyone stay away from the Savage Press. Oh, I'm going to aim for the arms. Ah. Alright, perfect. Oh, did I lose my combo? No! Yes, I love you so much, Lin Yu. You're so good. Typhoon Fist. This is the part where I'm going to lose all my co-op buddies, I can already feel. No, 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 don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Okay, perfect. Use the Kamehameha. Okay. I just did that to try and, like, one, keep fighting him through all this water stuff, because I know it deals damage to you, and not lose my combo, which is the thing I care about most. Okay, come on. Okay, perfect. Heal. Okay, going back to it. Okay, that was demolished. Good job, good job. Use this. Typhoon Fist. Oh, he's so close. Perfect. Broken. I'm gonna try and go for the tail now. Oh, man. I let go of the first strike too early. Lin Yu, by the way, really fun unit to use. She might be my one of my favorite units. Easily one or two. It's a, between her and Hunter Cerise, because I love Hunter Cerise so much. Perfect. Heaven's Breath. Now here's the important thing. Oh no, please don't lose it, don't lose it. Okay. No, I lost it! Damn it! I took too much damage on that one, I guess. I, t I was down for too long, I mean. There we go. I should have more now. Can I destroy the tail before I just completely win? Okay. Not bad. Yes, I can. Oh, wait. Oh. Panda time! Kung Fu Panda. Win with the Kamehameha. Huh? Yeah, that, there it goes down full fair. Not bad. I'm gonna try and beat. Uh uh. Kid him in the dick. Wow. Alright. Pretty easy as far as I can tell. <laughs> Um, you just kind of destroy his hands. And that really shows how much better I've gotten because it used to really take me, um, considerable e effort to actually beat him at all. It's crazy how things go. And this isn't available till 319, huh? Well, oh well. Yay. Of course, I need to beat him in raid style. But I'm pretty positive I'll be able to beat him. Uh, let me see. What are my remaining stuff? I may as well just talk about... Okay. I'm gonna now grind. Now I'm gonna go into full event grind, because now I want to talk about, um... What I kind of want from the 1.5 year anniversary. So, I know it says the specific countdown is leaving, like... I want to say... It's not a full week, it's like two days after, but I want to say that's because that's the way they do their thing, so if you start after the countdown, you can still get all the tickets from it. Um, so I expect... I actually wouldn't be surprised if it happened right after this event goes down, but we still need... Here's the problem right now with Dragalia, is that there's a lot of, a lot of reruns going on, 
This is, by the way, our third, the second rerun of something we've already done so many times. The event was god long for whatever reason. Jugalia really needs to stop doing so many reruns because the it really is kind of killing all the mood when you've already done something so many times. Um, it's like the exact opposite problem of something like Fake Grand Order where it only does an event twice and then it's gone forever into the Disney Vault. Jugalia has it, but also Jugalia needs to like start prioritizing other events. Like the free to play Faciliara, she never came back. She was one of the very first kind of events. She never returned. Um, some with a specific shrine, which one, some of the ones that will have shrines have never returned. Like the circus one, the circus one never came back, uh, which is unfortunate because it has like a light shrine inside of it, which is very useful if you want to get your light dude stronger. But yeah, I know they're working on something to kind of fix this, but it really does kind of kill the mood of Jigalia when it's like, so many of it is just reruns. Like, it doesn't help that I already fight Volfair so many times because of the uh, shards, so it's kind of like, the mystique of fighting him is gone. The only mystique I have is for new fights, so unless they're going to add something to it, I just don't see the reason to come back. But also they need to work on... Um, Incre in like increasing what you get inside the actual like um, shop because they don't update it all that often. Like the, um, the what I'm trying to say is is that this would have been a great opportunity to give people a lot of golden toilet paper to use on um, the four parchment, which you need to um, open the mana spirals of a lot of the units, specifically fives. I can't remember if you need them for the fours and the threes are not, but you definitely need them for fives, and you need a lot for a five. Like for example, for Lin Yu, I had a lot of ones, and I thought I had a lot, and then by the end of it, I only had one. It's really, uh, it's really a shame. They really need to start, like, if they expect, because there's currently, like, no good way to grind them. It's not like, um, the orbs that are, like, the super special orbs that just came out. Um, you can grind them in specific void battles, or you can uh, grind them in the story. There's no way to grind these five parchments, basically. So you have to kind of wait for events, but then the events themselves don't really give you enough. They give you like one or two. And then the monthly reset of shops gives you some, but it's not enough. For how much you need, it's never enough. Um, so they need to work on improving that. They need to work on... And the thing is, is that they're usually very good at communicating with us. It's just that this month they really dropped the ball, I feel. Um, maybe they just wanted to keep it a mystery, but this specific celebration's gotta be... Better be fantastic. Because if it starts off with a rerun of Fire Emblem Heroes, that is a big mistake. If it starts with a rerun of any of the collabs, including Mega Man... Um, especially Mega Man. Oh my god, if they did a rerun of Mega Man, I think that would be a pretty close to a death meal as possible for any like hype just because the Mega Man event is so boring it's unbelievable it's so I understand like how hard it is to like make something based off of Mega Man in the Dragalia universe um but it really doesn't help that one the Mega Man unit's not great he needed a mana spiral before mana spirals were even a thing he needed some form of buff because his current setup is just so weird and whack um but his event itself kind of seems like they tried to recreate a Mega Man level, but they forgot the part where everyone just kind of autos through the beginning stage levels. I don't think, I can't tell you the last time I legitimately played a stage by my hand that it wasn't on very hard or something. Um, it's all about fighting these bosses at this point. So they need to, and the bosses for Mega Man were Dr. Wily and Mega Man. <laughs> and the Dr. Wily one I really liked, but and the Mega Man one, but it wasn't enough. The other one were free issues. I don't know. They need to do something. I really hope the 1.5 is gonna be fantastic. I know it's gonna be a Gala unit. I don't know which Gala unit it's gonna be. It's gonna coincide with another um, event. Don't know what that's gonna be either, so. <sighs> it's gonna be interesting. I, lo I really do love Dragalia. I just wish that there was more to do let me tell you, maybe they were just getting out of the way of um, Grand Cross, the Seven Deadly Sin game, which requires so much grinding that it's actively kind of boring. But also, it's something to do, especially with this lockdown going down and stuff. Um, I don't know. They need something, man. 
I would love for Dragalia to give me a reason to play Dragalia that isn't just like do this rerun of something or build towards something else when it's like, I don't know, man. Incentivize me to do that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Dangle a carrot in front of the stick is what I'm trying to say. Uh, that ended up turning into me just kind of talking about the event itself. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think about the current setup of Dragalia. Do you like it? The one thing I will give the benefit to Dragalia is Dragalia is fantastic to have as... If you play multiple multiple gotchas, Dragalia respects your time in such an insane way because it never tries to force you to just keep only playing it. Dragalia is very much like, hey, do you want to catch up right now and be up with everyone? Do this, and then you'll be up with everyone else. You don't want to be that? That's fine. We won't really curtail content around needing to have that stuff. So you could literally like never prepare yourself for the harder content and you'll be perfectly fine with Dragalia. I think that works to its benefit. So I don't want Dragalia to be like so grind intensive that it's the only gacha I play, but I don't know. Again, it's something that I think about is very tough for I don't want Dragalia to literally overtake my life, but I do want just a little bit more stuff for there to be in Dragalia. Or at, at the very least give us stuff so that we can make, in this video, so we can make units some more minus spiral for units or something like that. I don't know. Again, at this point I'm rambling, but tell me your thoughts about it. Uh, remember, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like. It really helps out and does all that good stuff. And I'll We're see you guys in the next episode. And we'll protect this Goodbye. Town and the Lunar New Year. Yeah, protect that Lunar New Year. Um, Su Fong.